Hello, my blueberries. What's up, it's a culture detective here investigating your favorite movies, and today I'm going to be talking about Can or Con 2024 winners. That's right, uh, one of the biggest, most important film festivals of the entire world has finished its closing ceremony last night in France can and um now i'm going to be talking about the winners and the funny thing is i actually haven't seen i i'm not in can france as you can tell i'm actually in los angeles right now um and i haven't seen a single film from the list of films that are in competition um so i honestly don't really know why am i making this video or commentating on the winners but um just bear with me, okay? Just bear with me. Um, anyways, here's my predictions. Um, I, again, I haven't seen a single one of these films. I'm only making these predictions based off of reviews, what, you know, what people are saying online about these films, and also the directors themselves, and how can sort of functions, and maybe the jury itself as well. So for the winner of the Palme d'Or, aka the best picture, the most important award in film history, um, I think it's either going to Anora or Bird. Now, I'm already spoiled on who wins the Palme d'Or, but if I wasn't spoiled, I would say it's either going to Anora or Bird. Both of these films are incredibly talked about. Both of these films are very can friendly. They're very Palme d'Or friendly. Um, same for Jury Prize. Uh, either Anora wins the Palme d'Or and Bird wins the jury prize, or Bird by Andrea Arnold wins the Palme d'Or, and Anora by Sean Baker wins the jury prize. And the Grand Prix, I think it's going to The Seat of the Sacred Pig, uh, directed by Mohamed Rasulov, who is the Iranian director who is being persecuted by his government, um, because if he ever goes back, he's going to get caught sent to jail and flogged so this is a very important political statement of a film some people are like mm, i don't want politics to meddle with art but my brother in christ politics and art coexist all the time now for best director my prediction is Jia Zhangke. i think he is one of the asian darlings of the Cannes film festival the the, the film festival loves doing this they pick one person or two person two directors from one Asian country and they just love the shit out of them like like for Thailand it's Abhi Chabon Wida Satakul and rightfully so you know in Vietnam it's Tan Ang Hong and uh, in Korea it's um, Hong Sang Su or uh, uh, Pong Joon Ho obviously or Pak Tan I mean they're great um, and you know for Taiwan it's Tai Ming Yang or something so they love picking one, a couple filmmakers, and then just love the shit out of them. Uh, Jia Zhangke is one of those. He keeps getting in competition in Cannes, um, and I think it's about time he wins something. He is a really good filmmaker, not gonna lie. Um, so Jia Zhangke winning Best Director is uh, my prediction. Next up for Best Screenplay, it's a toss-up between Emilia Perez and The Substance. The Substance sort of blew everyone's minds i guess because it's like it's basically titan again uh it's a body horror movie about femininity and beauty and um it's a french director's take on hollywood and hollywood beauty standards it's pretty interesting uh that or emilia perez because it's this narc thriller musical which is just crazy best actor i have no idea and it's interesting because we don't have nominations or anything, so we're just completely, like, guessing. It could be anyone. Um, I honestly really want Willem Dafoe to get Best Actor. Willem Dafoe in Kinds of Kindness. So I would give it to him. Um, and then Best Actress. Um, if The Substance wins Best Screenplay, then Emilia Perez is going to win Best Actress for Carla Sofia Gascon, who will be the first trans woman to win Best Actress in Cannes, which is historical. Um, so that's my prediction. Now, let's see the winners. I'm at their Instagram page. So, Palm d'Or goes to Anora, Sean Baker. Uh, hell yeah. Um, it's so interesting because, like, um, 
Sean Baker doesn't seem like, doesn't come off like a really prestigious director, really artsy, you know, high-end director at all. Um, his work, you know, Red Rocket, for example, amazing film, um, is always very grounded and a realist. And also he seems, he runs an Instagram account and he like, he films his dog and, you know, he makes like jokes and stuff. He seems... He doesn't seem like the palm door kind of director, um, but that's exactly more all the more reasons for him to win the palm door. Um, it's either him or Bird or the Seat of the Sacred Pig. Um, but I'm really happy for Sean Baker. I'm rooting for him, and I'm looking forward to seeing Anora when it comes out in L.A. Uh, hopefully, um, when I'm here in L.A. and not somewhere else, because then I would miss the screening. But yeah, this is fantastic. All right. For now, from this point on, I have no idea who wins. Grand Prix goes to All We Imagine as Light by Payal Kabadia. Did not see that coming. Um, maybe it's because it's like one of the films that got released late in the festival. And I guess the buzz and the rave reviews aren't really like out yet. But uh, congratulations. Apparently, this is the first Indian film in 70 years to be in competition for Cannes. You know, I always complain that Hong Kong doesn't get enough, or not always complain, but like, it's a fact that Hong Kong doesn't, like Hong Kong films don't get in competition that frequently. And the last time it happened for Hong Kong, it was 2009 with Johnny Toe's Vengeance. Um, India hasn't been in competition for 70 freaking years. Um, but I think, I think there's a very huge win I'm really happy. So now I'm now I'm curious. Jury prize. Will it be Bird or will it be the Seed of the Sacred Pig? Or will it be some somebody else? Oh, Emilia Perez, Prix du Jury, Jacques Audiat. Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay, um that's very interesting. Um again, this is going to be Emilia Perez is going to be mentioned again and again in th this year. I feel like it's like, um, I feel like this film is going to be, um, you know, competing for Best International Picture or something in the Oscars. Um, or maybe not. Maybe it's too outlandish. You know, who knows? Prix de la Mise en Scène. I did not know this award exists. Goes to Miguel Gomez for Grand Tour. Another film that I keep hearing about. Also, Vim Vendors presenting. Hell yeah. Another film I hear about a little bit here and there. I don't know too much about this film, but seems intriguing. Pre Special. I also didn't know there are so many awards. Goes to Mohamed Rasulov for The Seat of the Sacred Pig. Hell yes. Yeah, um... I'm really excited to see this film. It's I heard that it's not that interesting of a film, but the filmmaker, the, the statement that this, you know, that this film has and the fact that this film is in competition for Cannes is like a huge deal. So, uh, Mohamed Rasulov. So that's like five prizes? That's already five prizes. That's crazy. Okay. Pre- Dentipretation feminine. Uh, feminine. Um, what are all these awards? What the heck? Adrian, Adriana Paz, Zoe Saldana, Carla Sofia, Gascon, and Selena Gomez. Is this Best Actress? Or is this is this just a fancy name for Best Actress? I don't know. Uh, Yakcho Koji presenting the award. That's really cool. Um, yeah, that's... That's great. That's pretty much what I expected. I didn't know they're going to give it to like multiple people. But I, you know, the Pedro Almodovar's Volver, they give it to the entire cast. So, okay. Pre du scenario. Well, obviously, you got to give it to Godard. Uh, no, Coralie Fargia for The Substance uh, for Best Screenplay. Um, I called it. I frigging, I frigging called it. I frigging called it. Okay. <laughs> Le Camera d'Or goes to Armand. 
Did not see that coming. I don't know much about this film. Camera Door. Surprisingly, Camera Door isn't like a cinematography award. It's, it's just the golden camera. I think it's for like first time filmmakers. Um, Mention Special Camera Door goes to Mong Rel. Um, Wei Liang Chang, Yo Chiang Yin. Oh, uh, again, don't know much about this film. Shout out to this film. Palm Door Court Metrage. Okay, at this point, we are entering films that are not really in competition. Who won Best Actor? Or did we pass that already? Oh, Prix de la Mise en Scène is Best Director. I am so stupid. See, clearly, I know nothing about Can. Um, really? No awards for Jia Zhang Ke. That's interesting. No awards for Bird either. I want to know who won Best Actor though. Do we know who won Best Actor? I what? Is there a Best Actor? Jesse Plemons? Oh boy. No shot. No shot. Okay. Wow. Wow. This is interesting. Okay. Um. I'm not against that. He's a really good actor. He's a really interesting actor. The thing is, like, I still see him as Todd from Breaking Bad. Like, <laughs> Jesse Plemons. It's, I, I almost called it. I was going for Willem Dafoe, but it ended up giving to Jesse Plemons. Uh, for the same film, Kinds of Kindness. Also want to quickly talk about um, Un Certain Regard, even though I know even less about these films. The winner of the award is Black Dog by Guan Hu, which is interesting because when I first read the list of uh, Un Certain Regard films, I was like, okay, this guy made a Chinese propaganda film. So is this, is Black Dog really good? I don't know. Now there's more of a reason for me to see it. Um, honorary Palm d'Or goes to Meryl Streep, Studio Ghibli, and George Lucas. George Lucas just got his honorary Palm d'Or. Meryl Streep got hers in the opening, and Studio Ghibli got theirs a couple days ago. Um, Hayao Miyazaki's son, Goro Miyazaki, accepted the award on behalf of Studio Ghibli. Um, and, um, hmm. yeah, and then I think that's pretty much it. That's pretty much for the films that I know of. Um, yeah, it's interesting. Bird didn't win anything. It did win a uh, Prix de la Citoyennette. Uh, okay. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's pretty, mu that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I go to Cannes in person next year. I'm gonna try. Um, it's going to be very tough because um, I have to write two huge essays and one very convincing cover letter to my film school um, to apply to go to Cannes as a USC student to represent USC. Uh, but hopefully I get to do that. Um, I didn't apply this year because I didn't want to go anywhere this summer. Um, but hopefully I do go next year. Uh, fingers crossed. Um, and hopefully next year will be more interesting. Like hopefully Api Chapong Wida Setakul or Pak Tanuk or David Lynch, you know, premiere something. Oh my god, a David Lynch premiere would go absolutely insane. I have to be there if that happens. Um Imagine the the standing ovation for Lynch. It's going to be crazy. But um yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Comments below, what do you think of Can this year? Like if you like it, subscribe if you want more. Thanks for watching.